the chairman of uh, the Insurance Brokers Association of Uganda, the CEO of Uganda Insurers Association, the administrator or registrar of the Insurance Appeals Tribunal, the CEOs uh, here present, the media, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, my colleagues from the Insurance Regulatory Authority of Uganda. As already said by uh, Barbara, we are here to see how we fare through the year. And indeed, we have done some good job then we need to see where we need to improve so that we do a better job in 2023. So as, uh, as they fix uh, that, I want to say that uh, these are up to quarter three. We, we have figures up to quarter three. Uh, we'll be looking at them. We also be looking at the achievements and the challenges for the year and briefly go through the agenda for 2023. At, at the macroeconomic level, I want to say that uh, the size of the economy increased. And uh, the increase is from 148 uh, billion, 148,000 uh, billions to 163 billions, 163,000 billions. So you can call it uh, trillions if you so wish to uh, uh, end it there. And uh, this. This growth, this growth uh, can be looked at in this table, which tells you how the economy moved between 2020, 2021, and 2021, 2022. And uh, for this uh, 2022, we are putting a disclaimer that it is preliminary because it has to be formally uh, released by uh, the relevant agency of government. And uh, the growth in real terms, when we look at uh, the percentage of it, we can say that the economy now grew much faster at 4.6%. Uh, Though the, 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 the projections for what they had uh, uh, wanted it to grow was a bit higher, but uh, at least it grew much faster than how it grew in 2020-2021. And the major economic milestones worthy uh, noting are that uh, in this, in the year, we saw the signing of the final investment decision in February, which as uh, the insurance uh, industry, we have uh, also benefited by starting to underwrite uh, that business. We also saw an increase in the GDP per capita, and you remember uh, these figures were stated by His Excellency the President. It grew from uh, United States dollars 889 in 2018-19 to 1046 in 2021-2022. And this was much more than what even they had planned in the NDP3 of 1000 uh, six dollars. 
we also saw that uh, DRC joined the ESC in March 2022. And we also saw the parish development models launched in 2022. These are milestones which uh, in return translate into what comes to the insurance uh, industry by way of uh, premiums which are underwritten. And uh, also at the economic front, we saw that uh, the fundamentals are not yet favorable and the inflation remained at uh, double digits. You may recall those of you who saw the news, uh, newspapers, I think yesterday, you saw that uh, advert from uh, Bank of Uganda, which was telling us where uh, inflation stands now. We also saw that uh, irrespective of that, the insurance uh, industry in gross written premiums managed to grow at a rate of 18% in gross written premiums. And uh, this was against what we had targeted uh, of uh, growth of 15%. To us, this is uh, a, good, a good thing which you people in the industry manage to do, but we are not yet where we want to be. So it means we must do much better if we are to achieve our intended uh, targets. According to the figures which were issued by uh, UBOS, uh, agriculture increased to 24.1%. It increased down from, it increased to 24.1%, and this is its contribution to, uh, to, 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 the, to the GDP. And we also saw that uh, the industry sector declined. It moved from uh, 27.4 to 26.8. And also services sector continued to be the biggest uh, contributor to the GDP. So that at 41.5%. In, in developed economies, that is good. Uh, when the services sector is contributing uh, the biggest part to the GDP, it would be a challenge if it is the other way around. And uh, in the services sector, because we know we are in the services sector, it means we must claim our rightful percentage contribution to the GDP. And when we do that, then everything will be very good. And uh, according to the uh, Ministry of Finance, the economy is projected to grow at 6% in uh, the year 2022 23. You need to note that this is even uh, higher than the 4.6 uh, percentage growth it did. And that, what it means, is that uh, they are expected to be more activities to be done for the economy to grow at 6%. And when there are more activities to be done, it means that our participation as the insurance uh, industry must also be much more than what it has been in the year 2022. So I just want to uh, put you on, uh, on, uh, on attention that uh, let's expect 2023 to be much more uh, faster, much more vibrant, and uh, we do more business accordingly. Then when we go to the highlights for the 2022 uh, and uh, achievements, 
which we have uh, been able to register as the industry. I want to say that the gross return premiums for up to quarter three, as already said, uh, improved from 912 billions in the quarter three of 2021, because we compare lights with the lights. Uh, we compare the quarter three of 2021 with the quarter three of 2022. So it moved from 912 billions to 1 trillion, eight, 1 trillion and 80 billion, or 1 trillion point zero eight of, uh, of 2022. And this was an 18.6% uh, uh, growth when you compare the two uh, periods. And this, in a way, gives us the projections for the end of year uh, performance. So if we do better than that, we will clap for ourselves. If we do worse than 18.6%, we will have some questions to check and fix in order to move to the next levels. The other interesting point is that the gross claims paid also grew. Gross claims paid in 2021, quarter three, was 363 billion. And gross, written, gross claims paid for 2023, 2022, is 477 billion. As we always say, as the Insurance Regulatory Authority of Uganda, we do support payment of genuine claims. We take it that what constitutes this are genuine claims. And when you pay close to 45% uh, of your gross written premiums, you pay it in claims, we need to clap for uh, ourselves. The clapping seemed that I didn't see, I didn't see the vibe. But. Because this is the very reason why we exist. This is the very, very reason why we open up our gates. If you don't pay claims, then nobody will come to you. Why should I part with my money when I don't expect anything? But when people expect that in case they get problems, they'll be paid, then everybody will move with us.